going behind the scenes, making some of the best machines in the world. This machining on a whole nother level. Detroit is known for manufacturing, and yet a lot of people sold out jobs, you know? But you still have big companies doing huge things over here in Michigan, in Detroit. We just saw that with Detroit Diesel, what an amazing company. 58 Hell is running nonstop. And these machines are being built right here. This entire plant right here is in Troy, Michigan. What an incredible facility. Oh man, what's up Ken? Hey Titan, how's it going? Man, it's one of the busiest guys in the business right here, so thank you for giving us your time. All right, man. And you are the CEO of the Heller USA. Boom, yeah. And like if we could just stop real quick, like let's, let's look at our surroundings right there. Look at this. Machine bases, bases, columns going on bases, machines, electrical panels, like, Machines all on the other side, just rows yeah, of machines getting built up. And all of these machines, Ken, are going into manufacturing plants right here in Michigan or North Carolina too, right? In the U.S., yeah. One of the things that we talked about a long time ago is, man, you don't have to go outside Absolutely. to get the things done and to do it cost effectively. And that's really part of the heart of what we're doing here. Check out this amazing machine right here from 1954. And you look at this machine that was built in the 50s. Look at the base and look at the foundation and the head. Like even the holder, it's not like a little 5C collar. This is an SK50 monster right here. Boom, like complete rigidity. That's one of the things I love about Heller is just the heritage, man. This company is 128 years old. They've been doing it huge behind the scenes for decades and decades. They have this machine in shops running around the world. You see where you came from and where you guys are now? That is an incredible feat. You guys are awesome and I love this. Boom. My boy Barry over there. Barry! Oh man. What's up, Barry? What's up? What's up, Barry? You got your eye on the 8,000, right? Yeah, I don't know. Oh I'm man. Decide between this and the 10,000. Yeah, you gotta go 10,000. You gotta go big. Yes. Check it out. This is the H10,000. Big old piece of steel in there. So, so Ralph, so this is the 8,000, and it's an absolute monster. I see you got the 10,000 over there. What are the different sizes of machines you guys have? You got the, the pallet size is different. You got the 800 millimeters and the 1,000 millimeters. Like the H8000 is a 800 millimeter pallet? Yes. Yeah. And then the 10,000 is a 1,000 millimeter. Yes. yes. Also the, the actual load that the pallet changer can handle on the, on the big machine you have up to um, 8,000 kilograms or 4,000 on each side. Okay. And where is this uh, machine going to? This is for uh, Cummins in Cummins. North Carolina, yeah. North Carolina, baby. North Carolina, this machine is coming to you. Probably a lot of these machines are going to North Carolina, huh? Yes, all of them, yeah. We're setting up this machine for the final inspection, doing a final geometry check, uh, fill out all our protocols, so the customer's happy, looking for any defects, basically a final check of everything. This is uh, the laser for the, the straightness measurements. He's gonna mount and then we do incremental measurements. It all gets recorded through the program. We're using the Swiss made wider levels. So basically really accurate digital levels. So we're running through a program to record all the measurements for the geometry checks. You're saying that on, on this 8000 you can have a big gantry and it'll be this like dropping yeah, it in? big overhead gantry. It's going over all machines. And I'm looking at the 8000 right there. But you can see like machines, machines like boom, 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 all the way over here, all lined up, get it all built up. Like all these hellers, all these hellers will be in a row with a big gantry dropping engines, boom, boom, boom and manufacturing is just gonna be happening for decades.
behind the scenes. So this is about 70% finished. We're still missing the back end here for the hydraulic and the electric panel. Awesome. Just monster base. What is this all? Yeah, one, cast one, iron one base. big piece of cast iron, one, yes. One piece, the entire thing is just one piece. Big old column. There, what oh, do you man. think? Oh man, this stuff is awesome. Boom. You know, these gigantic castings, they machine them all in one shot within five microns of squareness, so. Crazy. And then they set the whole thing on our floor and level all of it within about the same five yeah. microns, right? Crazy. Starting with perfection. It's incredible how big this casting here is and how fast this thing is moving around when it's in rapid. Like you don't think about this because it's behind all the sheet metal, but you look at how big this is and how much it weighs and the fact that it's able to move 3,500 inches a minute, it's crazy. This machining on a whole nother level. And if you want to bring jobs back and you want to automate your system, these are the machines you do it on. So this is an 8,000 base right here. Oh, check it out. Absolute monster. The station one assembly area, we just finished up leveling the base with electronic levels. And now we're checking the straightness with our new laser. Everything gets recorded and then put in the protocol. We're just checking for the straightness for the linear rail that's later being installed on the surface. Even over here, you can see they're doing inspection. They got the granite right there on top of there. Within microns, they're just getting absolutely perfect. Check this out, this is crazy. So I'm gonna get over here. Oh, look at this spindle. You guys know I got big hands, but like, let's just like give some context to this. You know what I mean? Look at that. Such a monster right there. HSK 100. Boom, in the house. It's a monster. Boom. Yeah, so this is one of the biggest spindles we have. And uh, this is our sub assembly area. So we're preparing the column to install the spindle into the column housing. You got a gearbox here, big motor. So you have automatic gear shift to have more torque. And one of the coolest things about Heller is that they make their own spindles. If you actually go into their spindle facility in Germany, they got Studer grinders over there. Studer, shout out to you guys. And uh, they're making their own spindles, controlling their own destiny. Where a lot of big machine tool builders, they actually purchase the spindles from other people. So Heller, doing it real, legit, boom. 48 years, yeah. 48 years at Hello, yeah. After 48 years, you gotta be organized. What you basically see out on my benches are all the tools I use. I'm pretty organized when it comes to that, and I don't wanna run around all day to look for this, this, this and that. So, yeah, that's what it is. This is basically our blessing clamping chuck testing facility. Uh, what we test over here is clamping chucks for crankshaft machines, crankshaft milling, crankshaft turning, and crankshaft broaching. Basically, I take the whole entire chuck apart to the detail, clean, if necessary, replace it. If they're worn out, I will replace all the seals, put things back together, and then test it. It's gonna be like new. Awesome, man. Very, it's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Awesome, thank you. Oh, and you guys know this machine right here. Heller HF 5500. Monster right here. I did a recent video running this bad boy at 1,600 inches a minute. Boom! Let's go! Everybody's freaking out and like, oh, you're gonna break the machine. And yet this machine runs at 3,500 inches per minute. I was like going less than half speed and people are freaking out. 
If you want to manufacture on a high level, you need to learn that these machines are capable of going to the moon. And don't be scared of them. Like, let's take the machines, use it as a machine, and, and rock it to its full potential. So we can make money, we can actually take care of our families, our companies, using the best technology in the business. Wherever you're at, that's manufacturing, and that's why I love it. And I love that I get to talk to all of you guys all over the world, and we are family, because we are manufacturers, baby. Boom. So Ken, as far as like the company, yeah. like you've been here for five years and what kind of changes? I just see you guys have like a beautiful showroom now. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? I actually saw myself in there. So I'm a little biased, but <laughs> what a beautiful shot, man. It has been quite a transformation. We built this technology center and are still building onto it. We're gonna be adding some new areas for training. It's investing to make sure that we're here for the long haul. We were at Detroit Diesel yesterday yeah. and I really learned about the partnership. You guys partner with these big companies and basically you just work with them to keep all production going and yeah. being a foundational piece for manufacturers all throughout America and you're true partners. That, that's it. I mean, our, our equipment is built to last. We understand production. We understand the importance of uptime and working off shifts. We work, and I'm sure you, they went through all that with you, but we work literally around the clock in shifts and are able to do what a lot would take in, in a big downtime. Yeah. We can do in, in sections and do it along with production. So it's, awesome. there's value in rebuilding and, and it's good to run for another eight to 10 and until it needs another touch up, yeah. right? You know, another thing that I love is I, I was talking to one of your guys and he was showing me a part that you guys actually made for a new customer. And you had no guarantees that you're gonna actually sell all these machines, yeah. but you took their part that they've manufactured for years yeah. and you guys actually programmed it and like tooled it up and did work holding and all of it without a guarantee that you're gonna sell it. And you guys actually saved like 25% yep. time on what right. how they were running it, showing that if you actually step up to this machine and this way of programming all of it, that they can actually be more efficient. And you guys got the job and sold the machines, but you didn't know. You didn't oh, know yeah, you were gonna do it. it. We're willing to bet on our experience, on our team, and our product. Awesome. And that, that's, what, that's what that amounts to. Yeah. It wasn't a light investment. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot to go through and reprocess and kind of throw away the way it's always been done yeah. and say, well, okay, well, we can push things differently because of the, the spine of the machine. We yeah. can go after it with tooling partners that we have worked and developed those partnerships with. Heller's experience going back to 1894 kind of has a history of being a family owned company that really is backing up what they commit to. It starts with integrity of design all the way through the manufacturing process and ultimately through the customers. Machine is built to murder chips and, and make it happen. And he sold my I, life. I did. Even the biggest skeptics will come to be believers when they, when they experience it. Boom, so good. You know, a lot of people, they don't, they don't know that America manufactures their own parts because a lot of big companies close their doors and don't show the public what's going on behind the doors. But our job is to bring awareness to this trade, to get our kids excited about it, to get machinists excited about it, and to get the world to respect manufacturing again. You can only do that by showing real life examples of like manufacturing happening on a huge level. Making some of the best machines in the world something to be proud of all you guys in Heller thank you for what you do you're doing amazing things